Well, it's a January movie. Boy Next Star stars Jennifer Lopez and is directed by Rob Cohen. In this movie, Jennifer Lopez plays a history teacher who loves the classics, classic literature, stuff like that. And her marriage is a little on the rocks, you know, she's been sort of semi-separate from her husband. She's maybe working that out, she's not sure, but she ends up sleeping with a young man who's like 19, he's almost 20. They they kind of point that out, so it's there's nothing really wrong with that, I, honestly. But he is technically a student at her school. So she kind of breaks it off like, no, this is a bad thing. And he immediately goes psycho, snaps, goes nuts. And then you get a thriller, I guess, where he's taunting her, tormenting her, messing with her. It might sound similar to another movie. I don't know, maybe you've heard of it. Yeah, and this is just one of many that it's very familiar with. It's a very, like, we've seen this story so many times before. So the question is, can this one, like, take such a familiar story but actually do a good movie with it? Obviously not, but I don't think the movie's complete ass and I'm going to talk about it right now because first off Rob Cohen as a director has lost what little talent he had. I really like this first Fast and Furious movie I thought he did a really good job with it and since then the guy's done nothing but utter shit. Triple X you might have liked it when you were young, but go back and watch it. That movie sucks. It's really really bad. Stealth that's awful. Alex Cross Man, that one sucked. And not to mention the horrible shaky cam direction all over the fucking place. Why do you have to do that during a fight scene? <laughs> so I don't like him as a director, safe to say. And Jennifer Lopez, you know, I liked her in Jersey Girl, but she wasn't in the movie very much. You know, every other movie I've seen her in, I don't like her. Gigli, we all know that that's one of the worst of all time. But like even, what was it, the backup plan? Like she's not a very good actress. Going into this movie, I'm like, it's a stupid thriller with Jennifer Lopez. It's gonna suck. And I, I was actually somewhat entertained during the movie. I didn't hate it while I was watching it. I didn't even expect that to happen. I only found out when the credits rolled that Rob Cohen made it. It's like, oh, well, that explains some of this shit. But Jennifer Lopez is an actress. You know, she, she's not very good. And in fact, a lot of scenes, she really is terrible. But I think it's a split. It's a weird, because she flip-flops between being okay to bearable to being really awful but it feels like more than acting because she doesn't really feel like she's acting she feels like she's posing for the camera to try to look good because you notice that a lot in this movie it it feels like they're just trying to make jennifer lopez look really good for the camera because she's playing a fucking history teacher with a son she's a single mom during the movie even though she's got a husband like off somewhere and she's got a son but she wears like weird sexy pajamas that like go up the crease and show off a lot of her butt it's like uh I don't think moms wear that. I really don't. She's a history teacher wearing sexy pajamas. Jennifer Lopez might. I don't think a history teacher might. Unless a history teacher looks like Jennifer Lopez. But it doesn't make sense for the character. These weird pajamas, like, they're going really riding up high. They go up as high as they possibly can to still be considered pajamas. It's like they're showing off so much of her trying to make her look so hot for the camera. And she is very attractive, so I don't mind. But it's just, really, you, it's so obvious what they're doing that it's kind of laughably bad. And the guy in this movie, the boy she uh, ends up banging, it's like, yeah, he's attractive, they're attractive, why not? And he's 19. Nothing wrong with that. He had sex with a teacher. Cool, you know, that's what everyone wants. And he's actually of age, nothing wrong with that. But because she's kind of, oh, maybe I can put my marriage back together, so we shouldn't. This is wrong because I say it's wrong. Also, the guy's becoming friends with her son. Her fake, 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 fake son. He seems like the most made up caricature ever and he feel he honestly felt like out of a different movie like, oh gee golly shucks i'm just the silly awkward boy who can't ask a girl out and stuff like that it's really ah uh, it was annoying and also like the plot threads with him there's a lot of stuff in this movie the writing's really poor for the most part a lot of story elements go nowhere they set a lot of things up that just go nowhere eh, who cares and yeah the first bit of this movie the first chunk i was like almost ready to walk i was like it can't be this bad it starts with like flashbacks weird grainy filters and the acting in the flashbacks like i think it's just the flashbacks more in the movie is some of the most dead acting ever so lifeless no please don't leave me you're Jennifer Lopez and I married you. I don't know why I would cheat on Jennifer Lopez. 
because you're really hot, but don't leave me. Like, it was that flat. I swear to God, watch the movie, it's that bad. And then when it's not flashbacks, it gets a little better, but really the acting's not very memorable at all. And the acting overall is like, some scenes it's all god awful and most of the time it's kind of passable. The story itself sort of predictable, you know where it's all going. I was entertained though for the middle, like once it gets to the sex scene until close to the end, I was like entertained enough like, okay, I'm just, I'm fine, I'm, I'm getting slightly sucked into this, I just want to see if they do anything different. And some of it's different, new, but most of it's kind of familiar, you've seen a lot before, a lot. And then they get back to the end, the horrible cliche filled end, a fucking jumping cat scare, are you fucking kidding me? No, there's even more cliches, more jump scares, just, it turned into such utter ass at the end. It actually, I, I hated the beginning, I liked most of the middle enough as to say I wasn't bored or w wishing for a noose to hang myself, I was okay. And then the end became so unbearably bad again. Everyone's acting just fluctuate to over-the-top awful nonsense. This movie was really bad and as entertained as I sort of was well, It's really it's so bad. It is really bad and not to mention Rob Cohen's horrible directing comes back shaky cam cameras moving all over the place when it doesn't need to be Fuck off Rob Cohen. You can't direct anymore because you can't keep your fucking arm still or whoever's in charge of filming it It's his fault though this cliche fest of familiar tropes and all that is junk, it's junk, it's bad. It really is a January movie, it's what you expect. I was semi-entertained during this movie, but for the most part just, it builds up to a point of just, okay, I can't take it anymore, this movie sucks. I'd give The Boy Next Door an F. This movie really sucks, it does. Jennifer Lopez, you're attractive, good for you. That doesn't make the movie any better. So yeah, comment below tell me to tell The Boy Next Door if you've seen it, if you're unlucky enough to have seen it. And yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later.